Hello everyone, for this tutorial video, I'd like to explain how you can derive surface area of 3D objects by rotating parametric curves around axis, rather than simply functions of one input. Surprisingly enough, this is easy to do if you remember that the surface area is dictated exactly as the integral of 2 pi times y times arc length if you rotate around the x-axis because y dictates the height of each section or the integral of 2 pi times x times arc length if you're rotating about the y-axis because then x would give the height of each section and in both cases the arc length would give the length. We remember we found in the previous video that the arc length of a parametric curve is the square root of change of x with respect to time squared plus change of y with respect to time squared and then all that in the square root times change in time. So we simply plug this in for the surface area integral and see now if we were asked to rotate this parametric curve around the x-axis and told to restrict the parameter or degree between 0 and pi half. We would first take the change of x with respect to parameter, the change of y with respect to parameter, plug these in for the arc length formula, simplify the arc length using factoring and trig identities. So we now see it is 3 times cosine of theta times sine of theta times change in angle. We next plug this in for the surface area rotated around the x-axis. So we use y as our height. And we remember y is given explicitly as sine cubed of theta. So we plug this in as well as the simplified arc length. And see that like with any surface area formula, we can factor out 2 pi as it is a constant. And we can next do a calculus 1 u substitution, where u equals sine of angle, because we know the derivative of sine is cosine, so we see cosine of angle times change in angle is change in u. So we have u to the fourth power times change in u. And we change the limits of integration to be in terms of u. So the sine of pi half is 1, and the sine of 0 is 0. So we have 1 and 0 as our limits. We now take this more simpler integral. We get antiderivative of u to the fourth power is u to the fifth power over 5. So at point 1, this equals 1 fifth, and at point 0, this equals 0. 1 fifth minus 0 is 1 fifth. And we remember the constant of 6 pi that we factored out of this integral. So we multiply 6 pi by the result of the integral. So in conclusion, our surface area has a definite value of 6 pi over 5. Now that we have figured out how to find surface area using parametric curves. We can transition away from parametric curves and toward polar coordinates next, which are actually somewhat easier because, like with the normal y equals function of x, you have only one function and not two at the same time. But the catch is the function is graphed using an entirely different method than what we are normally accustomed to, which is what we will see. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this video informative, and make sure to see other tutorial videos, and follow me on either Facebook or Twitter for more content.